Hello, I'm Jeanne Arignan-Docky. I'm a French art director and creative technologist based in London. I work in a creative studio across different kinds of projects from campaign, branding, experiential or artist commissioning. Um, when I'm not at work, I like to experiment with hardware and especially Arduino. I would say that my own practice lies at the intersection of digital and analog design with a particular focus on tactile objects or so anything people are going to be able to touch or interact with in a physical space. Um, and I attach a lot of importance on creating pieces where technology does not alienate the audience. Um, I will say that I really enjoy creating uh, humorous and surreal encounters between daily life, daily moment, uh, and incongruous materials or objects to draw attention to meaningful topic. Um, I'm here today to introduce you to my project name World Wind Radio, which you can see part of it right next to me. Uh, it's a piece I've developed uh, during the program I attended at the School of Machine Making and Make Believe in Berlin in summer 2022. World Wind Radio is an interactive sound installation harnessing nature's strongest force, the wind. It takes the appearance of a wind socks, as you can see on this image, and plays a radio station from a different part of the world, depending on the speed and direction of the wind. As you can see on this map, um, there is different locations, uh, depending on the wind speed and again direction. So if the wind socks is rooted in Berlin and a small breeze blow from the south is, as you can see here, uh, it will be playing uh, live radio from Romania, Iran, India, Malaysia, or even Australia, if the wind is very strong. You might wonder what happens if there is no wind. Well, it will still work. It will just simply play um, the local radio. So in this case, Berlin live radio. Um, I'm going to show you now a video that's going to give you a good idea of how the installation looks, but also most importantly, how it sounds like. On those photos, you can see some close-up of the installations. So on the left, the wind socks attach, and on the right, um, the different, uh, the two different sensors used in this installation. So in this um, 3D printed part, you have an anemometer that will uh, collect the wind speed and a rotation angle sensor that will look into where the wind socks uh, point at and give information on the wind direction. Here you have uh, the box that contains the speakers, the screen, but also all the hardware necessary for uh, the installation. So we have an Arduino, a Raspberry Pi, and a power bank. A little attach uh, from the windsock to the pole. This is actually a very important piece. Um, I hand sew myself the windsock uh, with a nylon uh, fabric. In this project, I wanted to highlight the importance of cultural flow by erasing geographical borders through sound and really communicate how diverse cultural exchange makes the world a more beautiful place. And I really like this idea how the wind embodies the immigration of life. It can carry seeds, sands, or even help birds to cross continents. And now we know that 
actually the wind plays a beautiful role in world diversity. And similar to that, radios are also a living thing, filled with curated music based on what moved the people of a nation. It's a bit like a snapshot of the cultural landscape of a country. And like the wind, electronic airwaves know no borders. Before I dive into more detail on how it works, the installation, I would like to thank the amazing Rachel Uwa, founder of the School of Machine Making and Make Believe, Quinn Tincher, Sarah Rescher, Alexi Grichenko for their support, help and encouragement along, um, all along um, me working on this project. So let's look how the installation works. So you understood it. The winds come in and um, the wind speed and the wind direction are captured by two different sensors, the anemometer and the rotationary uh, sensor. Those information or data are being read by an Arduino uh, that kind of pair the different values. And those pairings are being sent then to a Raspberry Pi that will then trigger the uh, online radio URL depending on the different value received through a music player diamond. It will display on an LCD screen uh, the wind direction, the location and the radio name and play the music through the speakers for the audience to dance and enjoy. This is the first prototype of the installations. So after around two weeks of work and you can see it's a cardboard tube. Uh, the wires are actually not fitting into the box. Um, actually big learning here. Always take the dimension not just of the hardware but also of the cables and wires that it take a lot of space. This is the original colors of the windsock uh, and as you can see I use um, a lamp uh, shade structure uh, to hold um, the windsocks to the main pole. Um, it was actually funny for after those two weeks when we presented the first prototype, um, there was no wind. Uh, so I had to run around uh, the park to show how the different radio would be playing depending of the wind speed and wind direction. Uh, yes, you can see here all the different piece of hardware that was supposed to fit in the box and that didn't fit uh, for this first presentation. After those uh, two weeks of work and this first presentation uh, of the installation, I keep working on these uh, installations, just refining the design, the different 3D printing parts, uh, as you can see here, you know, from the first sketches to the first uh, version of the design that were very big and square to something slightly more refined uh, toward the end and obviously spray painting it in white to fit with the pole. Similar to the box, basically making the boss a bit bigger to fit everything nicely together inside. Uh, and the windsock itself, just refining the colors and the story um, of the colors. Um, the final outcome with the yellow, the blue and the white, basically um, the sun, the blue of the sky and the white of the cloud. What's next for the installation? Uh, well, I'm currently looking into making it uh, powered by the wind. I think that would be amazing for the story of the installation. Uh, and if you have any experience with that, please uh, don't hesitate to let me know and share your experience with me. Um, secondly, the installation has been invited in a couple of festivals uh, this year um, in the US and in France. Uh, please, if you like to host a piece or know any event or institution that would be interested in presenting World Wind Radio, uh, please send me an email at this address. Um, thanks to Arduino for the invitation and thank you for watching.